I love the smell of napalm in the morning. You know, one time we had a hail bomb for 12 hours when it was all over, I walked up. We didn't find one of them, not one stinking big body. Smell! You know that gasoline smell! The whole hill! Smells like. victory. Someday this war's gonna end. Put on side war off. Make it loud. This is a Romeo Fox. Right, I mean, rare, rare but not cold. Kilgore had a pretty good day for himself. They chopped in the T bones and a beer and turned the LZ into a beach party. The more they tried to make it just like home, the more they made everybody miss him. Captain, your mission, Captain. I'm trying to forget all about you. <laughs> <laughs> He loved his boys. He felt safe with them. He was one of those guys that had that weird light around him. He just knew he wasn't going to get so much as a scratch here. <laughs> this is a circa 50s tote goat is when it was manufactured it was manufactured to remove large game kills from the mountains i believe is a story i read uh, we added this trailer we painted everything with the u.s military theme we followed it as close as we could with, you know, the project. Um, this is a uh, canvas tote sack that we used for seat. And, you know, this is kind of a, uh, uh, an old crap handle here. The pocket even works. Um, that fuel will allow you to run for hours. Um, uh, we can, we had a couple ideas for, um, different fuel tanks but uh they just either didn't pan out or they were too heavy or too small excuse me please uh it's got one brake 
and it's an axle brake that uh, works on the main axle. It's not a tire rub uh, deal, so it's it's a real good braking system. Uh, got a thumb throttle, which we felt was easier to operate for this particular apparatus, kind of like a four-wheeler. Motor is brand new. Uh, it probably does not have an hour on it yet. Uh, it came. Uh, well, it was manufactured to go on a Husqvarna snowblower. Uh, it's labeled as a 6.5 horsepower, 208 cc. Uh, we mounted these two ammo cans on the side for saddlebags, which they work very well. Uh, we've got one that is, uh, uh, which you can change this, but one you can't take off without you know tools and then this one here's quick release so if you get to your deer stand and you uh, want to take uh, one of the cans with you you can take that one with just by grabbing the handle and the other one somebody would have to work to get it off if you weren't there watching the bike it's got brand new rubber on front and rear those are six inch rims and that is a, um, a lugger snow tread uh, on, on the rear. And uh, it works real, real good in mud. It works good in snow. Works real good in rocks. This thing will climb straight up a tree. It's got the center stand that's built in. The draw tight hitch will remove uh, by removing two small bolts. Uh, so you can pull that out and have this all open here. And uh, that's about all we got. Oh, the, the front suspension, or the front uh, forks do have springs in it, so there are there is suspension on the front. Uh, this steel uh, grate that we used here, you can hit that with a hammer and it won't bend. So it's just bulletproof. Uh, brand new belts. Heavy duty chains. And as you can tell, the kids love it. Sir, we can go in there tomorrow at dawn. There's always a good offshore breeze in the morning. We may not be able to get the boat in. The draft at the mouth of that river may be too shallow. Now we'll pick your boat up and put it down like a baby, right where you want it. The first of the night, air calves, son. Air mobile. I can take that point and hold it just as long as I like, and you can get any place up that river that suits you, young captain. Hell, a six-foot peak. <laughs> All right, take a gunship back to the division. Lance, go with Mike, let him pick out a board for you, and bring me my Yater spoon, the 8.6. I don't know, sir. It's what a... is it, soldier? Well, I mean, it's pretty hairy in there. It's, it's Charlie's point. Charlie, don't surf!